Tonight we stay overnight in a Victorian miners cottage. The cottage dates back to 1450 and it was last renovated in 1901 making this a Victorian time capsule. In 1957 the cottage was locked up for many years and has only recently been reopened. Many miners lost their lives in the local Derbyshire mines and how many of the cottage's former residents still reside in this home. Will we have a peaceful night? Let's see as we get into the video. Okay, so we're actually in this little one bedroom, one room cottage. Old miners cottage. Old miners cottage. Good evening. We're staying overnight here. And <clears throat> was the owner saying that this was uncovered? In the 70s? No, 57. 57? No, no, sorry. It was locked up in 57. It's only been reopened recently. Mm -hmm. so, just having fun and games here with <laughs> the drama pod. Um, now, as we're just setting up a few little bits and bobs just before we go out for tea, um, obviously I've set up two cat balls and then James has set up the coin divination with the dominoes. So before, funnily enough, before the press record, both the cat balls were going crazy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh good, that was good. Have we? And this is freed up, which is good. Thank you very much if that was you, Spirit. If there are any spirits with us, um, can you make the balls go off again for us, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. Obviously we'll be going out for tea, but when we come back, we'll be communicating more with you and asking you more questions and try to get to know you, if that's okay. So can you light up one of the balls, if that's okay? So what we've done is set up a camera over here and um, it's just recording the table here. So on here, that catwalk going off already. <laughs> that one's been going crazy. Yeah. Um, the coin divination is all set up and then the dominoes and that there is the, the VAC, the voice activated capsule. So, if we get any noises or anything, I'll pick up that while we're out. So, just going to go for some tea and uh, yeah. see you later. See you later. Okay, so we're going to have a game of dominoes now. And um, this would have been a, a game that they would have played uh, back in the day. So we're going to test that out now. <coughs> You are going to have to teach me how to play because okay. I don't have a clue. So we do. Put them all down, face down first. Mm -hmm. That's just you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Five, 
in fact, can it just mm -hmm. go first? Just put yeah. a canny piece and put it down. Okay, do you go again? Just can't go. So do I have to match the two with two another or, two? Two or nothing. Oh, no. Is that one? That's a two. Okay. Put the two on that. So you put it like that way. Uh, so now the next person who goes needs a one or, an, or nothing. Okay, guys. So we're just going to conduct an Estes method now. So we've got James there lying on the bed. So you've got a blindfold on, headphones on, and the headphones are connected to the S box. And also around us, obviously we've got the K2 meter and the spirit ball on the table. And then over there in the chair, we've got the latest edition, which is Scott. So, I don't know, let me zoom in on him. There he is, looking quite comfy there. So yeah, we're going to conduct yes, this method. So do you want to turn it up? Yeah. Can you hear me? No. Okay. So spirits. If you are here with us, can you let us know that you're here with us by saying your name through the device? Male cough. Male cough. Are you ill on the other side? So if we introduce ourselves my name's Rianne and over on the bed is James. He's holding a device that you can talk into and communicate to us if you do wish to do so. Mail, it's on. It's on. Can you tell us what's on? Mail, I couldn't hear. Can you try and speak loud and clearly? For us, please. Mail couldn't leave. Couldn't leave. Why couldn't you leave? Were you trapped? If we are speaking to a male spirit, can you try and tell us your name, please? Mail, which side are you on? We're on the living side, well as far as we're aware, unfortunately you are on the unliving side, again as far as we're aware. Please spirit, can you try and tell us your name for us please? what year are you from so for you what year is it did this used to be your home that we're staying in now Couldn't tell what that said. You can communicate in other ways. So we've got a few pieces of equipment dotted around. If you were here longer in the evening, you'll notice the spirit balls. They're easy to light up, you just have to touch them. Or if you're if you like dolls, we've got a doll in the corner. 
or if you're scared of using our equipment you can do it the traditional way and bang make a loud clear bang for us please or three taps Okay guys, so, so far tonight we've kind of played a bit of dominoes just because that would have been a game that they would have played here when this uh, cottage was last lived in um, and it was just fun to do, wasn't it as well? It so was. was. Good to do. Found a new favourite game. <laughs> yeah. We've had the locked off camera going while we went out for tea, so it'll be interesting to see you back yeah. on. Um, what I know about this uh, cottage is it was built in around 1450, so it's very, very old. And then it was lived in, um, well, it was last modernised in 1901, so 121 years ago now, which is a long time ago. It was then, I believe, lived in um, until about 1957, when it was just locked off then, at that point for a long period of time. It's only recently been reopened and it's in the same state as it would have been in 1901, which is phenomenal. It is. Um, oh yeah, it's just uh, far along. Just, uh, far, yeah, far along. Yeah, I can just about see it. Mm. Um, so, from all that, obviously this was a miner's cottage and um, there was a few mining disasters in the area. People may have died here in the past as well we're not too sure um not sure if it's haunted but um we were getting some activity on the spirit balls mm -hmm. earlier on so we thought we'd uh, you know just run a bit of a mini investigation and document what we got mm -hmm. here i've just had a thought so obviously this that was just me on the chair if um this place has never been investigated before Obviously, they might on the locked off camera. Obviously, they put they were playing with the balls, weren't they? Yeah. So they might have used up all their energy Early because on. they're not used to conserving that energy. Yeah. Or... Ooh. <laughs> Eat your words. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You proving me wrong. Yeah. The hairs on the back of my neck. Where yeah. Thank you for that. And obviously just for validation, obviously I was resting on this chair. Yeah. So if I give that a wobble, it's not setting no. the ball no off. No, not at all. Um, I've got another device here, which is very hard to not, you know, set off. I've only seen it go off on a few occasions, this one. Um, it's called a, a K2 meter and it registers electromagnetic field, it's a believed, you know, if you are here with us now, that you could uh, light more lights up on this. I think it keeps that <laughs> Or, if you could go past me and touch the ball on the chair there, that would be really good validation too. Just let us know that you're here with us now. And thank you for letting us into your cottage yeah, tonight. Thank you. Obviously, they either might be regaining their energy mm -hmm. or maybe using ours, which Possibly. you're more than welcome to do. Yeah, I've not had much sleep, so I'm not much, <laughs> but you're welcome to use it if you want to. But yeah, that was very interesting. <laughs> it's always, not always the case, but we had it. Very recently at Wally yeah, Abbey where definitely. something happened like that. So I do find that compelling. Mm -hmm. They're almost not sure about us. Mm. But then you know, when we say that stuff that like that, that, they're like, no, I'm going to prove you wrong. Yeah. I am still here. Yeah. Um, you know, we come with total peace and respect. Yeah. This is your home. We are guests here. Um, and we just want to know if anyone else is here with us now. Could you do something again for us now, please, just to show us that there is someone here?
you do something again for us now, please, just to show us that there is someone here? I heard a tap behind Yeah, I heard that. That was your tummy. It was. It's being mad again now, because... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've got no kind of clear voices from the spirit box. I'm hoping, I'm just trying to get the cool. <laughs> I'm hoping that um, it has recorded on there because there's mm -hmm. a little bit coming from our FM, but there was a lot of radio as well. So I think the even though we can't get any phone reception here, the radio reception is working slightly. I've gone really warm. Yeah, I've gone warm. <clears throat> Although I've been warm all day and night, so... Yeah. No difference. No, I wouldn't go off my temperature. No. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it... Well, you know, whatever, whoever's here with us before did use up a lot of their energy. Yeah. Maybe, you know, they were just doing that just to show that they are still here, mm -hmm. but they have used up a lot of their energy. Um, it's a strange one, it's a strange one to approach this as. Yeah. Could you knock for us somewhere in the room? Move something? Thank you. Thank you. Can you try and move that for us though, please? Just to show that it's you. See, when the spirit balls go off, obviously unless you move them all intentionally bang on the table when mm. they're on there, um, I do believe in the spirit balls because obviously you've got to proper touch them yeah. for them to go off. What was that? I am cool. <laughs> See, I always like two things. I like to think that yeah, for validation. If that's going to go off, I need a knock as well at the same yeah. time, or I need you know it to go off in response to a question. Yeah, it's not enough for me to just go it off. Just randomly. Yeah. It's it's interesting. Mm -hmm. But say that's, you know, someone trying to communicate with yeah. us is a bit far fetched. You know, I'll always document it and Definitely. at the end of the day the viewer, you know, decides on that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um but personally I like things in twos. Yeah. Or something big. I think push off. Awesome big. I think push off. Awesome big. I think push off. The tape, that's fair enough. I don't know if it's just your reflection from your watch. But there was like a, a white light come straight almost through you or past you. Really? Mm hmm. If I do that, is that doing anything? No. Mm, thank you. Thank you. I mean, it could be a fly or something, but. Possibly. More of a light though than an orb. Yeah. Because mm. <clears throat> it was bright white. Yeah. Whereas like an orb is like it come through see me. through. Not through you but like past you. Interesting. But right by you. Mm -hmm. I mean it could just be a fly or insect. True, true. I mean it is just one room here. Mm -hmm. But the way it's kind of stuck in time I really like that. Oh definitely. I really like that for you. Now my tummy's going off. Mm -hmm. 
Is there anything else you'd like to try? Um, I'd like to try the back test, I think. Yeah. Or the eek test. The eek test. Enhanced audio test. Yes, yeah, that's the one. So what Rianne's going to be doing in a minute, she's going to be listening uh, to a Zoom mic through headphones. Um, just see if she can pick up any EVPs in a moment. I do like doing EVPs, but I think this method's so much better. Mm -hmm. We also record on the Zoom mic, um, so if she does hear anything that isn't audible on the normal camera, um, we will re replay it through the Zoom mic audio to see what she gets on that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because I've not been on camera yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, see James that. <laughs> listening to an EVP through the Zoom mic. Um, I'm just recording now. We've got Scott on the table there. Got the K2 meter spirit ball and then we moved the spirit ball that was on the table before next to the kettle there on the side. That was just my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that yeah, so needs to settle again, needs to settle. <laughs> okay, so if there are any spirits here with us now still can you do something to show as you're here? Can you try and say your name to Rianne? That's the girl who's holding the microphone with the earphones on. So she'll be able to hear your voice. My name's James. We come with peace and respect. Can you tell us your name, please? It's weird because I can almost hear my In touch on the balls again, just to let us know you're still here with us, please. Your yeah, shouldn't have eaten. It's going to sit on the bed so mm -hmm. we can cord more of the room. There's a car in the background, some kind of mm -hmm. bass. Yeah, I can hear the bass really clearly through there. Yeah. So I can only faintly hear it. Mm Anything you want to ask? Um, yeah, um, spirits, if you are still here with us, obviously we don't come here with any harm, we come with peace and respect, and we believe none of this equipment will hurt you in any way. Now, if you could try and tap on this device here, so copy me. Could you try and do that for me, please? Or try and knock, make a bang, light off any of this equipment, just so we know that you're still here with us, please. Unfortunately, nothing of note was captured during our enhanced audio test and this concluded our investigation.
However, we have a few interesting things to show you that we captured on the locked off camera. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop it a like, comment below your thoughts and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Now let's get into that locked off footage.